I started my career a long time ago, uh, now over 60 years ago, to be honest. And uh, at that time, I was from a farm milking cows. And at that time, also, um, I believed what everyone else also believed. And that was that the diet that is high in protein is probably the best diet. Uh, but I came, became aware that my early views on uh, nutrition, especially on the question concerning the consumption of protein, uh, should be questioned. And we in the United States, as well as other countries in the world, have really not fully understand, have not fully understood what nutrition can do. So my story is about what does nutrition mean? And how can we use this information to promote health? When I say colleagues, I'm talking about medical doctors as well as scientists. Those of us in the profession have not fully understood, I think, what nutrition can do. And it's about time that we learn this because the larger public, uh, quite frankly, is uh, quite confused about this. So I'm really interested in changing the future of nutrition by understanding it. So I want to explain how did I come to this very uh, strain that we could actually control the development of cancer by nutritional means, for example, that's associated with animal-based foods. Do we get it because of the animal-based foods, or is it because as we increase animal-based foods, plant-based foods go down? Now we know plant-based foods tend to prevent cancer. So maybe that's... You don't need to add any more protein. There's plenty of protein in plants to serve the purpose. In fact, in reality, if you were to determine the amount of protein in, let's say, a, a, a dinner full of vegetables and fruits and whole grains and so forth, the level of protein in that kind of diet whole food, plant-based, it prevents, suspends, and or cures all these diseases. The idea here is because of the confusion that exists in the public about nutrition. Nutrition is very, very, uh, it's really almost a disaster. <laughs> the science of nutrition is very confusing for most people. And so the question is why? I'm going to try to introduce this idea by this scheme. And this is something that probably tend not to know or they don't want to know. But I have to tell you, of all those things I've shown there, that is the, that's the major cause, more than all the transportation combined. That is a huge thing we've got to recognize. So all we need to do is just eat the right food. Just understand what nutrition is. And it all becomes really quite easy. Thank you.